right beyond the water upon the land lies a pretty city small but grand full of fun adventures every day and lots of friends who like to play but it won't take so long until something goes wrong it's time for heroes Puts out every fire soon. Polly Polly Scar looks out for clues. But calamity growing faster than the struggle don't want ever last. Cause when things go so wrong, our heroes are strong. It's time for heroes. Call the heroes. Holly and Fiona. The race. Oh, whoa! Oh, watch out! Garrett! Come on now! Yahoo! Wow, that's what I call speed! Phew, that was exciting. I'd like to see another race. Yeah, but it's some time before the next one. We'll have to wait quite a while. And there's nothing we can do about it? Wait, I know. We'll organize our own race, right here in town. <laughs> but that's a fantastic idea, Mayor. Well, are you ready for the race tomorrow? I'll need your help in case anything goes wrong. Don't worry about it, Alice. We'll be vigilant. Yes, I'll make sure everybody follows the rules and that no one cheats. It is going to be so exciting. I would have liked to participate myself. Yes, but every competition needs someone who is in charge of the security. And this time, that will be your task. It's already widely known who the quickest cars in the city are. Oh, thank you, Alice. Hi, guys. I see you're just hanging out. I suppose you're not going to compete tomorrow, but you will come and cheer, won't you? Yeah, lucky for you, I'm not going to compete, as I've promised to be on call in case any of you end up in the ditch or have a breakdown. Oh, I also want to race, but I don't have any wheels. Darn it. With your luck, you'd probably have ended up last anyway. And Tommy, you're probably too old to compete. Well, gotta hit the road. See you at the awards ceremony. If I were you, I'd build a go-kart and teach that maniac a lesson. I've got some bits and pieces in the garage that you can use to build it with if you'd like. Wow! A go-kart? What a fantastic idea! Thanks, Tommy! Wow! This place is full of great stuff! Please, stop hammering! Ooh, we're trying to sleep. Ah, quiet! <laughs> All right, the race will begin any minute. Is everybody ready? Ooh, if only I'd been able to sleep. Some loony was up hammering all night. Stop being so weak. Come on now, you lazy bones. Now it's time. Ready, steady. Hey, wait for me. I want to be in the race. Ha <laughs> ha, do you really think you have a chance with that? You don't even have an engine. Surely you don't need an engine to win a race. My crow's feet are full of speed. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in position. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> this is a walk in the park for a racing car like me. Let me pass, Tracy. I have to catch up to Harry. <laughs> no way, Wheelie. I think it suits you to be where you are, behind me. <laughs> Amazing how quickly they disappeared, Crow. Oh, yes. They must really hunger for that trophy. Hunger? When you put it like that, it makes me think of yummy things to eat. A baguette would really do the trick. Good day, my friends. 
You look practically starved. May I tempt you with a freshly baked baguette? Continue without me, Crow. I'll try to catch up to you later. Ha <laughs> ha! Just like you, Digsy. Always in a mood to eat. I'll see you later. Hmm. Wonder if I could play a trick on someone just to make this race a bit more interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm such a clever little car. Now all I have to do is wait. Yeah! Yuck! What's this sticky <laughs> stuff? Help, I'm stuck! Calm down, Tracy. Someone will soon be along to pull you out. Unfortunately, I have to go now. Harry is still in the lead, and if I know him like I think I do, he's the one behind all this mess. Hmm, yeah, you're probably right. All right. Wheelie, from now on, I'm rooting for you. Come on, go, girl! Tracy, how come you're lazing around over here? Don't you know there's a race on? Yo, oh, I already know that you're responsible for this. Don't you think I can see the syrup on your bumper? <laughs> nah, that wasn't syrup. It, uh, it could have been anything. Anything but syrup. Bye-bye. Uh, you cheater. Oh, this is so boring. I wish I would have been able to compete instead. Yeah, I'm almost wishing for an emergency call, so we get to drive around at least. Emergency services? All right. Okay, I understand. Over and out. Tracy Truck has gotten stuck in something sticky and she can't move. Fiona, go over there and see if you can help her out. Yoo-hoo! At least I get to come out for a bit. Please, Alice, can I go too? We might need to investigate something. No, Paulie. I need you here in case something else happens. Oh. Now, it's... Action time! Oh. Hmm. I'm really oh, yeah, pleased yeah. with my little syrup trick. Maybe I can think of something fun to do with Wheelie as well. Ha ha! An idea! Oh, hi, Tracy! Why have you stopped? I'm stuck. Harry poured syrup on the road. He probably thinks it's hilarious or something. So look out for his traps, Crow. Oh, that sounds crazy. Okay, I'll keep my crow's eyes peeled. I don't think I'm far behind him now. This racing car's pretty powerful, you know? Uh, uh, yeah, I can see uh, that. Way to uh, go, Crow. <laughs> hey, that's strange. The route leads into the zoo. Oh well, they must have changed it or something. Ah, help! <laughs> hey, Wheelie! Are you having a day out at the zoo? Shame Zoofy is off today. You'll probably have to stay there for a while. <laughs> Ooh, I should have realized it was you. Let me out, Harry. This isn't fair. I would gladly let you out, Wheelie. But I really don't have the time right now. I have a certain competition to win first. But I'm such a nice guy, I'll let you out afterwards. Oh, you are going to be sorry when I get a hold of you. Yeah, well, all right then. See ya. Yeah. Oh, come on. Tracy, what's happened? I'm stuck in something sticky. Do you think you can get me out of here? Sure I can. I'll just flush it off. Hang on now. Thanks, Fiona. No problem, but hurry up so you can get back into the race. I'm afraid I'm already too far behind. I give up. I just hope Wheelie and the Crow can beat that rascal Harry. Harry? What's he done now? Well, I'm not the one who's pouring syrup on the road. Aha, uh -huh, I get it. We'll see what the judge has to say about that. Come along to the station and we'll wait for him there. Oh. Come on, Polly. I'm sure you'll get to respond to an emergency call soon. Emergency services? Yes, I see. Okay, we're on it. Over and out. Polly, Wheelie is locked in at the zoo. Hurry on over there and help her out. Yay, at last. Now it's... Action, action time! time. Wheelie did look a little angry. 
I hope she understands it was all just a joke. <laughs> Woo! You can Hello do there, it. Harry. So you're in the lead, are you? Well, that comes as no surprise. Of course. I told you this morning that I was going to win. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah, sure I do. Well, I better move on. I've got a trophy waiting for me. Careful. Don't show off too hard. Your engine might break. Hardly. That only happens to old grandpa cars. Oh, no! Oh, my. That doesn't sound good, Harry. Wait, and I'll help you. Hello, Wheelie. What's happened here? It's that cheat, Harry, who's to blame. He tricked me into driving in here, and then he blocked the exit with a box. I see. We'll have to look into this. Oh, thanks. There. Come with me to the station, and we'll hear what the judge has to say about this. Oh. Oh. I can't take another step. I think I give up. Huh? Harry? Have you given up too? Nah, I just realized how long it's been since I had my engine service. And by the way, I was never that keen on winning anyway. So there. Crow, take those old rockets and attach them to the go-kart. I'm sure they'll give you enough speed to take you to the finish line. Rockets? Will that really work? Sure thing. Just tie them off properly. Ahem. Hey, hold your horses. Isn't this cheating? No, it isn't. All of you guys have your engines, while Crow only has his legs. It's only fair. Thanks, Tommy. Now look out. Fire in the hole! <laughs> I mean, Harry has cheated so much, it would be totally wrong if he won. Let's see what Harry has to say about all of this when he gets here. Cheating is definitely not allowed in this competition. Oh, look everyone! It seems like someone is flying to the finish! Phew! What a ride! We have a winner in our competition. Calamity Crow! Yeah! Oh, wow. oh my! Yeah! yeah. Yes. Way to go! Yeah. 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 Huh? Did I win? Yahoo! I won! I hereby announce Calamity Crow's go-kart to be the fastest car in town. Ha-ha! <laughs> Thank you! And Harry, since you're so fond of moving cones, I hereby make you our competition cleaner. Oh! <laughs> That's right, Harry. And when you've finished, we'll give you something we think you'll like. A whole syrup container as a reward. Oh! <laughs> Holly and Fiona. Troubles. Good morning, Percy Post. Here I am with today's delivery. Yeah! Wow, that's a lot of mail. Yep, today you'll be extra busy. Holy moly. We have to get cracking if I'm to deliver everything on time. Ah, what a wonderful day. Perhaps my new sleeping bag arrives today. That would just be perfect. I do believe Percy Post is on his way. Oh, please, please. Hi, Percy Post. Have you got anything for me today? Yeah, I sure have. Hooray! My new sleeping bag. Now I can go camping. Camping? Yeah. You know when you sleep out in nature and go fishing and maybe read a good book. And most importantly, you grill hot dogs over a crackling log fire. Mmm. Yummy! Oh, that sounds lovely. But a little dangerous with the fire. What What if the fire spreads? Haha, <laughs> nah. You just have to be careful and remember to put out the fire afterwards. Right. Well, I have to hurry along. Bye-bye. Thanks. And bye-bye. Oh, what a nice sleeping bag. I'd better get myself ready so I can get going on my great camping adventure. Huh. 
Where can Missy be? I haven't seen her for days now, and yet somebody's eating her food every night. Very peculiar. Missy! Missy! <sighs> Good morning. Good morning, Percy Post. Oh, hello there. Polly and Fiona are just so brilliant. They're always doing lots of brave and good things. I wish I also did something really important. Hmm. Hi. Did the training go well? <laughs> well, I was the fastest. No, you weren't. I was in the lead for a long time. But the winner's the one who comes first. <laughs> you are both fast, just as it should be. Hello, everybody! Hi, Calamity Crow. Where are you off to? I'm off to go camping on the outskirts of town. I'll be grilling hot dogs and so on. Just wanted to tell you I was heading out. That's great, but be careful grilling hot dogs. You will remember to put out the fire, won't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, Fiona. I will. Well, nature beckons. Bye-bye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye. But dippy day, what a calm and sunny day. Ta la 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 la. Bonjour, Percy Post. Have you got anything for me today? Yes, flour, yeast, and lots of baking soda. Ah, magnifique. Thanks, just what I needed. Sure, no doubt it'll be great. Goodbye, Percy Post. Bye bye. We're so lucky to have Percy Post. Without his help, I wouldn't have been able to bake anything today. Flower here, and sleeping bag there. Ah, I really wish I could help someone instead. Do something worthwhile. Ah, but all I do is deliver mail. What a perfect spot to camp on! Ah, the forest air! This is the life! Hmm. Maybe I ought to collect some firewood before night falls. Nah, it'll be light for a little longer. I'll read instead. <laughs> ah, what was that? Ants, they tickle and uh, ow, bite, ow, ow, no, ow. Stop it, you silly ants. Ah, I can't have a camp here. I have to go somewhere else. Bye-bye, Icky Ants! Let's see if this fish also disappears. Well, I can't be standing around here worrying. I got fields to manage. Hmm. I really have to plant some new seeds. I hope they arrive in the mail today. Why, hello, Percy Post. Have you got any mail for me today? Hi, Troy. Yeah, I've got a stack of seeds. Fantastic! Thank you so much, Percy Post. Well, if you say so. Ah, oh, that Mel Van's a great fellow. Without Percy Post's help, I wouldn't have been able to plant my seeds today. Right, time to get to work. Those seeds won't hardly plant themselves. <laughs> ah, this spot is even better. No ants are disturbing me here. Now, I'm gonna catch myself a big fish. My, what a cute little froggy. Hiya, long leg. Ah, and there's another one. Hmm, more frogs. And you're so loud. A whole army of frogs. Help! Rah! Oh, I can't camp here either. Ah. Phew, what a day. Flour for Benny, seeds for Troy, peanuts for Zuffy, motor oil for Tommy. <sighs> Hello, Pussy Post, wait up! This parcel was left at the harbor. It was sent to the wrong place and must be returned to the neighboring village by this evening. Oh, I see. Well, all right then. Thank you, Pussy Post. Have a nice evening. Jeez. Drive all the way to the other village in the dark. Well, if I drive with my headlights on, it might not be quite so scary. <sighs> I feel full and content. 
Time to sleep. But first, I have to put out the fire. Hey, the fish is gone. Missy, kitty cat, are you there? Hey, that's strange. Who ate the fish if it wasn't Missy? Hmm, I'll put another fish and we'll see if it's gone by the morning. <sighs> and now it's sleepy time. What was that? Uh, a ghost? Ooh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. Just an owl. Ah! Now what? Oh, of course. It was just a windmill. It's so dark. Maybe I'll feel better if I try to sing a little song. <clears throat> Once there was a little car. Honk, honk, honk. <clears throat> he wanted so to go real far. Honk, honk, honk. Gee, it's really hot. And there... A smell of smoke. Ah! It's burning! Emergency services. Oh, I understand. We'll get going straight away. Over and out. Listen up. There's a fire at Calamity Crow's campsite next to the windmill. You have to go there at once because now it's action time! Oh! Fire everywhere! Quickly! Up a tree! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honk, honk, honk. My! What's this? There's a fire over there! Help! Oh! Someone needs help! Help! Murphy Post! Help me! But what could I do? I'm nothing but a simple mail van. Crow, I'll save you! Jump down into my roof! Hold on! Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of burnt tail feathers. There, the fire is out. Oh. I guess I wasn't so careful about putting out that fire. Well, you should always be extra careful when dealing with fire. Anyway, it all ended well. Yeah, thanks to Percy Post. Bah, at last I did something good just like you. What do you mean? Well, instead of just delivering the mail, I actually helped someone. Oh, Percy Post, but you help others all day long. Huh? Do I? Sure you do. Think of everyone in the city who needs all those things you deliver to them. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Nothing would work if you didn't deliver people's mail and parcels. Speaking of mail, I have a parcel that needs to be taken to the next village. I've got to hurry. Goodbye. Well, Crow, are you tired of camping yet? Ha! Not one bit! Now I know the perfect place to set up camp. How come I didn't think of this spot before? There are no ants here, no frogs, and no terrifying noises. And it's completely safe to make up a fire here. <sighs> well, I think it's time to sleep now. Will you put the fire out, Fiona? Sure. Good night. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> Once there was a little van, honk, honk, honk. Who was tougher than any man? Honk, honk, honk. Ah, what a lovely morning. By all the rusty pitchforks, now the fish is gone again. <coughs> Missy, huh? <coughs> Missy, where are you? Missy? <coughs> there you are. Where have you been? I've missed you. 
Oh my! Ha 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 ha! Kittens! Well, that explains why you've been so busy, Missy. Welcome, all of you. I guess I'll just have to get some more fish. Ha 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 ha! Holly and Fiona. The treasure map. Ah, this is even better than salami. What have we got here? Silly to throw bottles around like that. People might hurt themselves. Hmm, there's something inside of it. What might this be? Hmm. Hey there! Hot Dog Herbie! Oh, hiya, Fred! Do you know what this is? I see! You found Captain Booger's old treasure map! Rock! A treasure map? <laughs> oh, yeah! About 200 years ago, Captain Booger sailed these waters, gathering a huge treasure. They say he hid the treasure somewhere around here. Oh, but how can we find the treasure? According to the map, you should be looking for a rock, a tree, and a cross. The treasure is buried where the cross is. I'll need help with the digging. Ho 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 ho! Don't look at me! I'm too old for adventures. And besides, I'm off fishing. Good luck with your treasure hunt! Sure! Take care, Fred! I need to find someone who's good at digging. There. That was the last of it. Great work, Digsy. I'll go now and get rid of this. See you later. Yes. Bye-bye, Tracy. <sighs> I expect it's time for a snack. Hi, Digsy. I need help digging up some pirate treasure. Well... I'm happy to help, but uh, it's time for lunch, and that. Uh... <laughs> Let's go past my hot dog stand. You can eat as many hot dogs as you like. Oh, well then, I think I should get going straight away. It'll be quicker if you jump into my scoop. What's this treasure you're talking about? Well, I have found Captain Booger's old treasure map. If we can find his buried treasure, We'll both be rich. It's 200 years old, and I bet it's full of gold. Oh. So Hot Dog Herbie is going on a treasure hunt. I hope he finds the treasure. Holy jellyfish. I forgot to tell him an important thing about Captain Booger. Oh, well. I'm sure Hot Dog Herbie will notice it soon enough. Calamity Crow, are you ready with the stopwatch? Sure. Everything is under control! Great! If I beat my last result, I might have a chance in the race tomorrow. I just have to get a good start. All right, Harry. Stand by. Ready, steady, ride! <laughs> ah! oh! Oh! Did you get it? How fast was I? Uh, yes. Just wait and I'll... Ah! The stopwatch is gone! Gone? My lovely new stopwatch? Oh, no! But, Polly, have you not fixed your broken door handle yet? Huh? Nah, I've been too busy. But the new one's arrived. It's lying over there. Hmm. Maybe I'll ask Tommy to help me change the handles. Yes, you wouldn't be able to sneak up on thieves with a rattling door like that. All right, all right. I'll get it fixed. I... Emergency services. I see. Yes? All right. I've got it. Over and out. Listen up. Harry has lost his new stopwatch. Apparently, it disappeared under strange circumstances while he was practicing for a race by the blocked-off road. Hmm. That sounds weird. He sounded pretty upset, so you'll have to hurry on over there. Because it's... Action Time! time! There are rocks and trees in the park. Keep your eyes peeled for a cross. Sure. Over there, Digsy. This has got to be the place. Everything fits. Start digging, Digsy. Okay. Hello there. 
What seems to be the trouble? I mean, I was practicing and the crow was timing me, and then the stopwatch just disappeared. Yes, I dropped it on the ground over there. And when I looked away for just one second, it disappeared. A mystery. Are you sure that's where you saw it? Absolutely. It was right there. Don't worry. I'm an expert at tracing things that have gone astray. I'm sure we'll find your stopwatch, Harry. I really hope so. We better look carefully, Fiona. But I really can't see anything here. Let's continue down towards the industrial area. Someone there might have seen something. Hmm. Dixie, I don't think the treasure's here. Nope. This here is an empty hole. Hmm. Captain Booger was a clever one. He must have hidden the treasure somewhere else. Ha! Now I know. There's got to be rocks and trees by Troy's field. I bet it's buried there. Toward Troy's field! Hmm. The thief has left no clues. Yeah, that's weird. You had it last time. Hey, it was you who had it. Freddy and Robbie seem to have a problem. You had the spanner last. Where did you put it? Hey, it was you who had it last. Hello there. What's going on? Robbie is really careless. He's lost our new spanner. No, it's Freddy's fault. When I came to use the spanner, it was gone. Completely gone? Yes, disappeared. Gone, without a trace. Guys, stop arguing. Polly and I are chasing a very clever thief. It looks like it's stolen your spanner as well. Oh well, I guess I'm sorry, Robbie. Nah, I'm the one who should apologize. Come on, Fiona. The thief is probably hiding somewhere nearby. This time we're in the right spot. I can feel it. Start digging here, Dixie. All right, I'll get cracking. We have been through this whole area without finding the thief. Maybe the thief heard your rattling door and managed to sneak off. Hmm. You're probably right. Come on, let's go to the station and get my new handle. Nah, the treasure isn't here either. What if Captain Booger buried the treasure at the beach? But of course, Dixie. A treasure chest is obviously really heavy. Captain Booger probably couldn't drag it much further than the beach. Come on! No time to lose! Hello there. Did you manage to find the mysterious thief? No, not even a trace. But when Tommy has helped me with my handle, the thief won't be able to get away. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. All your rattling is just scaring everyone off. But where's my handle? <gasps> oh no! The thief must have been here! Hmm. Strange. No one has been here all day. I'm sure of that. How can a thief steal things without anybody noticing? Look! We must be at the right place! Finally! Dixie the treasure is ours! The treasure! Oh, how exciting! We should be able to unlock the treasure chest with this key! Hey, come back! No! This tree is impossible to climb! And I can't reach it with my scoop. What do we do now? Hmm. Fiona might be able to help. Hmm. This is a hard one to crack. A thief who doesn't leave any traces. And who steals things without anyone noticing. Nah, I can't work this one out. What if- Emergency services. Yes. Hmm. All right. Over and out. Don't tell me the thief has been at it again. No, Polly. It's just Hot Dog, Herbie, and Digsy who are having problems at the beach. Thank goodness. And now, it's... Action, action time! time! Hello there. What have we here? The magpie took my key. Fiona, could you help me up that tree so I can retrieve it from the magpie's nest? Of course I can, Hot Dog Herbie. Grab this. Can you see anything up there? Well, let's see now. 
Here's something. Ha! Now I'll get my key back. But hey, what's this? Did you get the key? Yep. And all this. Robbie and Freddy's spanner and Harry's stopwatch. And your handle, Polly. <laughs> then there is no thief. Just a thieving magpie. <laughs> Mission completed. Come on. Let's open Captain Booger's treasure chest. Maybe the chest is full of gold coins. More chocolate coins? Yummy. Hmm. The chest is empty. Oh, what a shame. Hello, everyone. Hi, Fred. We found the treasure chest, but the chest was empty. <laughs> well, I forgot to tell you that Captain Booger was a real joker. He loved to play tricks. So, there was never a treasure? Nah, it was all a big joke. Oh, how annoying. No, without your help, we would have never figured out that it was the magpie who stole all of our things. That's right, you're heroes. <laughs> you're right. How clever of us, Dixie. Yes, all's well that ends well. Are you the ones who dug a large hole in my field? And a hole in the park. Uh, uh, well, yes. Then I'd like you to go and fill those holes again straight away. You can't just dig holes everywhere. What happened to all's well that ends well? <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. Only half of it left. And then you'll have to go to the park. Oh, why did I dig such big holes? Uh, I'll never go on a treasure hunt again. Woohoo! Ah! It's a record! You beat your record! Did I? Hooray! That means I'm ready for the race. Harry the Grease Lightning! Ha 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 ha! Holly and Fiona. The ghost car. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Help! Mm, Harry, that wasn't funny in the least. <laughs> well, I thought it was incredibly funny. Uh, you are hopeless. Imagine if I had scared you like that. I bet you wouldn't have laughed then. I'm too tough to get scared. Wheelie, hey, I, I was only kidding. Wheelie! Bah. Good work today, Digsy. But now it's time to go home. You go. I'm going to put up some barriers here first so that no one accidentally falls into the hole. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, let's see now. Yeah, it's supposed to be foggy and a full moon tonight. Perhaps a few of us should get together and tell each other ghost stories. We have to take advantage of the spooky weather. <laughs> wow, that's like such a great idea. I love ghost stories. I know a whole bunch of them. Good. I'll ask Calamity Crow and Tracy Truck. Why don't you ask someone as well? Hmm. I know exactly who needs a good scare. Harry! <laughs> He's always pretending to be so tough. <laughs> See you a bit later. Bye-bye. There you go, Benny. This is the last flower sack. Now they've all been delivered. Thanks, Crow. It's very nice of you to help out. Now I've got enough flour to last me for weeks. If you come here tomorrow, I'll treat you to a bun. Oh, I'd love to. After I drop off this sack, I'm going to Tommy's to listen to ghost stories. Do you want to come? Ghost stories? <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ghosts don't exist. I'd never do something so silly. I have to get up early and set the dough to rise. And if I don't get a quiet evening, I'll get a bad night's sleep. My paint just crossed. <sighs> Ghost stories. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! All right then. Good night, Benny. Yeah, night night. Here we are. Hi there, guys. Is everyone here? Hiya. Now everyone's here. Let's start. 
come a little closer so you don't miss anything. Now I'm gonna tell you the story of the bloodthirsty Baron. Once upon a time, a little town lived in fear. And to this day, you can hear the growling ghost of the Baron as he drags himself along the streets in his rattling chains, looking for new victims during dark, foggy nights, just like this one. <laughs> How are you, Harry? You're not scared, are you? <laughs> As if I would get scared because of some old ghost story. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I know I'm good at telling ghost stories. And Grandpa told his ghost stories so well in his day that he frightened the paint off himself. It's true. Every last bit of it. He needed a total repaint. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. The paint is still there. Cool. <clears throat> I, I knew that. Thanks for the night, everyone. Now it's time to sleep. Thank you, Tommy. Good night. Good, Good night. night. The buns, my buns, must have burned them. <sighs> oh, I'm so exhausted. It'll be good to get into bed. Huh. What? What on earth is that? Uh, a ghost? Ah! Na 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 No barren as far as the eye can see. <laughs> ah! Emergency services. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Over and out. Listen up. Ooh. Calamity oh. Crow has seen a... a ghost going around town. <laughs> a ghost? Surely no one's afraid of ghosts. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bet you never get scared, huh, Polly? Nah. It does sound strange, but Crow seemed very certain. Yeah, right, but a ghost? Emergency services? Yes? Really? Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay, over and out. Listen up. Apparently, Tracy Truck has also seen a ghost. I suppose it's best you two get going straight away and find out what's causing all this commotion. You're right, Alice Alarm. It's important that everyone feels safe in our city. Ready for a ghost hunt? Yes. Now, it's action time! Calamity Crow? What's going on here then? Uh, well, I mean, I saw a ghost! A real ghost! It went that way! How come you're so sure it was a ghost? I have never seen anything like it! It was white and foggy, and it moved in a strange way! Okay, let us look into it. You can go to bed now, Crow. Oh, thank you! Good luck! Look at this! What can it be? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's not snow. It looks like some kind of powder. Maybe ghost powder. <laughs> Hardly. But I still think we should follow the tracks and see where they lead us. You're right. Let's drive on. Did you get scared? Nah, why would I get scared? Ghosts don't exist. I know that, but as you're a girl, you might get scared anyway. You were more scared than anyone, and you're not even a girl. 
Girls don't get more scared just because they're girls. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Help! What? Eh, a ghost! Hmm. Here are lots of traces. It seems like our ghost has been here as well. Help! Eh? What was that? It sounds as if somebody needs help. Come on. Hi there. What's going on here then? We saw a g ghost. You as well? What did it look like? Oh, it was so terrifying. Exactly like in the story Tommy told us earlier. White with chains, and I'm pretty sure it growled as well. Okay. In which direction did the ghost go? That way, uh, towards town. I'm sure we'll catch that ghost before long. Yeah, it can be very far away. No need to worry, go home and get some sleep. his revenge! Help! What, Baron? Where am I? What are you doing? Holy mackerel! I think I'm about to wet myself. Is that you, Benny Baker? Tommy? What? Hi there. What's going on here, then? <sighs> I'm not really sure. I think Benny is here to play a trick on me. A trick? How rude! Playing silly tricks is not something I do. Tommy tried to frighten the life out of me. What is this entanglement? And what on earth am I doing here? <laughs> well, now I at least understand how that all fits together. Yes, Benny. You seem to have frightened the whole town. I have what? How utterly ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm here. Tommy must have kidnapped me. I think you must have driven in your sleep. We've been following you in your tracks for quite some time. And you're covered in flowers, so you look pretty spooky. Do I? <laughs> well, now I see you, Benny. Oh dear, oh dear. I haven't driven in my sleep since my wheels were small. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Benny. At least now we know what frightened everyone. <laughs> yeah, and we've scared ourselves with ghost stories all night. Yes, your imagination can really run away with you. I'm glad we managed to solve this. But now we'd better start heading back to the station. And I've got to get back to the bakery to set the dough to rise. Bye bye then. then. Hi. How did it go? Did you see any ghosts? <laughs> yes, we did. But it was just Benny the Baker driving in his sleep. Apparently, they had been telling ghost stories at Tommy's earlier, so everybody was already frightened. Well, that Tommy has a knack for telling ghost stories. It's a relief. Everything is back to normal. Everyone in this city can now sleep safely. My heroes. The heroes of the city. The heroes of the ghosts. I'm looking forward to having my breakfast first. Hmm. The hole. Huh. But hey, didn't I put up a barrier here? Or, um, hmm. I'm telling you, so you can imagine how scared I got when I opened my eyes. Boo! Here comes Bear and the Baker. <laughs> 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 Holly and Fiona. The Forgotten Birthday. Phew, I've flown all the way from the big city with Harry's heavy birthday gift. <laughs> Harry is going to be so surprised. He has no idea we're throwing a surprise party for him. I hope everyone can keep the secret. I'm really looking forward to the party later. Harry is going to be so surprised when he sees what we've got in store for him. 
Yeah, you should have seen how surprised Grandpa was when he turned 100 and was given a jack-in-the-box. He was so scared his paint peeled off and left him all white with terror. <laughs> My, but I don't think Harry will get scared, only happily surprised. There, now I'll go back home and get ready for the party. See you later, Tommy. Sure thing. Bye for now. <gasps> ah! Oops. Hmm, my tires are pretty worn. Maybe it's time to get new ones. <laughs> but worn tires aren't going to spoil this special day, because today is my birthday. <laughs> Hooray for me! Ooh, it smells of newly baked cake. Benny the Baker has probably made me a birthday cake. I'll head over there for a little taste. Voila! Harry's cake is finally ready. A masterpiece. Mon Dieu, here comes Harry. He mustn't see the cake. Then the surprise party won't be a surprise. Hi, Benny. What's up? Bonjour, Harry. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, just lovely. Have you baked anything I can taste? <laughs> Perhaps a birthday cake? No, no, absolutely no birthday cake. No? All right, I, I guess I'll head off then. Bye, Benny. Uh, goodbye. Phew, that was close. Lucky Harry didn't notice the cake. Now I have to get the cake to the party. Oh no, my beautiful cake! Trabby dobby doo What a beautiful day! I'm newly showered and ready for Harry's surprise party. Nothing can go wrong today. What's that noise? Ah! Cake attack! Hmm, it's not that often you get showered by cake. Yummy! My poor cake! Uh... I can't believe Benny has forgotten about my birthday. Huh? What's that? Maybe Robbie and Freddy are up to something exciting down at the industrial site. I'll go over there and have a look. I wonder if they have a nice present for me. How many balloons do we actually need for Harry's party? It's getting tricky to hold them all. Hey, Harry's coming. Quick, Harry mustn't see the balloons. Put them away and pretend like it's raining. Hiya, guys. What's up? Er, uh, well, uh, uh, we're just enjoying the sunshine. Nah, I'm just pretending it's raining. Hmm, I see. Have you had a delivery of a parcel to the harbor today? Maybe a small birthday present or some... No, 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 no. We don't know anything about a birthday present. Nothing at all. No, no. <laughs> no present? Right. Well, then I'll leave you in peace to do whatever it was you were doing. So long, guys. Hmm. Can I put the umbrella away now? <sighs> Phew. This wind is stronger than I expected. But now I see Lookout Luke. That means I'll be just in time for the party. What's this? Balloons! No! Harry's present! Just my luck, I'll never be able to get it now. I have to get help fast before the present sinks. There, the flags are in place. Then we're just waiting for the balloons and the cake and the present. And of course, Harry. Oh, he's going to be so surprised. Hmm, but I wonder where Hector is with the present. He should have been here by now. What if he... Emergency services. Yes. Oh, dear. Mmm. All right. Over and out. Listen up. Hector has dropped Harry's present in the water. He's worried it might sink to the bottom of the sea. Gosh. Then we'd better hurry. Yes. Hurry on over there. Now, it's... Action time! time. There, a new masterpiece. Now I'm going to be very, very careful. 
This will do it. Oh, not again. Stop, you silly trailer. Oh, I can't wait to have a party today. Harry will be so surprised. Ah, a cake! Like, what is this? Yuck, I'm a mess. Ah, uh, but it's only cake. Oh, and I was ready for a party. No, I'll have to wash all over again. My nice, wonderful cake, all wasted. Uh. Hello there, Hector. What's happened? I dropped the box with Harry's present in the water. I'm worried it's gonna sink to the bottom. Can't you just pick it up again? No, my rope has snapped. Oh, I reckon we'd better hurry if we're gonna get the box up before it sinks. It would be such a shame to lose Harry's present. But how are we going to do it? Ship ahoy, you landlubbers! How come you all look so gloomy? Has something happened? Hi, Fred. Thank goodness you've arrived. We would like some help fishing up that box you see bobbing out there. That box? Gee, I better hurry up. It looks like it's about to sink any moment. I'll be right back! But how are we going to transport the box over to the surprise party? Go and get Digsy and Tracy. I bet they'll be able to help us. Of course! I'll be back soon. There, I'm loaded with a new little cake. I won't use that silly trailer again. Uh... Right then. Let's see now. Gotcha! Hi, Tracy and Digsy. Great of you to come. We are thrilled to be able to help. Look! Here comes Fred! Hi there, Fred. Did it go well? You bet! I've caught tougher fish than this little box in my time. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Fred. Well, I'd better chug along. I've got fish to catch. Take care now. Bye, Fred. Thanks for your help. And I think we'd better hurry to the party. Come on, let's go, everyone. This is so boring. Everybody's forgotten about my birthday. Not one lousy card or present. Blah, what a rotten day. This has got to be the worst birthday ever. Ah, I'll just go home and celebrate my birthday on my own. Hmm. Well, happy birthday, Harry, the world's loneliest hot rod. Haha, -ha, I'm almost there, and the cake is in one piece. Look out, Benny! A cake? Ah, and now the surprise is really spoiled. The surprise? Yes. Come along, Harry. Where is he? We're going to be late for the party. Crow, where are you? Come on now. Hi, Tommy. Here I am. I got the cake all over me and had to take another shower. But now I'm ready to go. Hold on, Crow. Here he comes. Here comes Harry. Happy birthday, Harry! Wow! Uh, a surprise party! <laughs> we surprised you, didn't we? You did. Um, or, or, I mean, nah, I've, I've known about it the whole day. Just didn't want to spoil your surprise, you see. Open your present. Wow! Ultra racing tires with extra super duper grip! Imagine the skidding I'll be able to do! And what a perfect cake! Huh, this has got to be the best birthday ever! And it's not over yet! You've still got another surprise, Harry! Do I? Oh yes! Come with us to the cinema and we'll show you! Come on, everybody! How exciting! We're going to show you a nice old film that we found hidden away in a drawer. Happy birthday, Harry. All right, roll the film. Yeah! Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're so cute. Cute? 
No, I'm cool. <laughs> Happy birthday, Harry! What a great surprise party that was. Yeah, and Harry was so pleased with his present. I would also like some ultra racing tires with extra super duper grip. Gosh, Harry did some serious skidding. <laughs> It'll take all night to wash off those tire marks. I think we should let them stay there for a while, Fiona. Er, uh, what do you mean? Oh, Harry. Here I come! The fastest car in town! Woohoo! This is the world's best birthday ever! 